if you watch our present so-called president, he spends most of his time either in his child or his parent ego state. He never gets into his adult ego state unless he's reading off the teleprompter. And he is such a poor reader that oftentimes he makes mistakes and then he is instantly in his child ego state right in front of your very eyes. It's absolutely fascinating to watch it happen. Speaking of our president, a lot of people say that racism has risen under, under him. Do you I mean, anybody who doesn't say that hasn't been paying attention. It absolutely has. I'm getting more hate mail now than I have gotten for years. The kinds of things that are being said in this country today are things that he has said for the last two years. He has said them publicly and he got elected because he said them publicly. We have a group of people in the United States of America who were in response to eight years of a black man in the White House and the possibility that they might have from four to eight years of a woman in the White House will elect anything that walks and can chew gum at the same time. This, last, this e last election, as far as I'm concerned, was a direct response to having a black man in the White House for eight years. And it's time to change the White House to the President's House. This is ridiculous to call the place where the President of the United States lives the White House. It, gives the, it sends the wrong message. It says, I remember when Richard Nixon said to a group of reporters, I'm trying to save the White House for you white people. That says it all. And at that moment I thought, well, wait a minute. Now this is something that has to be changed, and it has to be changed. Nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. It's time to change the name of the White House to the President's House or the President's Residence, which has a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> okay, let's just say that Donald Trump, President Trump, is trying to bring the country together like he said he would do. He was, wait a second, he's trying to bring the country together. How would he go about doing that? And, and Resign. If he really wants to bring the country together, all he has to do is resign and take his, what do you call him, with him, the second in command, the vice president. That would bring the country together. But right now, the only way he can bring the country together is put somebody else in the president's office. He does not know how to be a president. He does not know what legislation is about. He does not know how to do this job. He didn't intend to get this job. And had it not been for the Electoral College, he wouldn't have this job. Mrs. Clinton won the popular vote. The only reason we have this person as the President of the United States right now is because the members of the Electoral College didn't do what that Electoral College was designed to do. Thomas Jefferson designed that to make sure that no one who was unfit for that office would ever be elected President of the United States. The Electoral College last year absolutely defeated that. 